Some of you are trying to wonder, like, what the hell is this guy wearing? <laughs> uh, let me clarify a little bit. This is uh, an African style Versace. <laughs> Just came out, you know, available for purchase at a very girlfriend, good man, if you need it. Um, in case you don't like it, I say, I'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> and uh, if you haven't seen the movie, I say, I'll go fuck yourself. <laughs> Yeah, I want to introduce myself. My name is Sule. Uh, your name is Audience. <laughs> I do the jokes, you guys do the laughs. That's how it works here, all right? But first, I want to appreciate you for coming out tonight to the best show in town. You know, I mean, what kind of show is this? I feel bad for you, man. A show where... <laughs> a show where comics has to... Comics spent uh, most of the time trying to get people to come see them. <laughs> rather than write, uh, write jokes. You know, especially for me, it's hard as an African, you know, my African brothers would never want to come support me like that. Every time I call any single one of them, he's like, you know, I gotta go to work. You know, one of my brothers, like, uh, he worked for Hugo Boss. He can't make it. I found out later that he worked for a Mexican bodega for Hugo the Boss. <laughs> I'm serious, man. <laughs> I gave up, but this is, this is how it works in Africa, you know, comedy is not, you know, African comedy is everywhere, all day long, but usually we're very sick and tired and usually hungry that when you say something funny, people don't have that energy to laugh, so we go like, you know, <laughs> that's it, that means your joke was fucking funny, <laughs> I'm serious man, um, yeah, but I love Africa, but a lot of time, you know, most of my friends in Africa, they want to come to America. You know, they heard it's very nice here. I mean, even animals sometimes want to come here. I mean, I remember when I went to do my visa, there's a fucking chimpanzee in the line <laughs> with an application form and a photograph. He wanted a visa to come to America. Because of, it turned out that he heard through the great vines that fucking monkeys at the Bronx Zoo have better life, uh, living conditions. <laughs> They even have doctors and shit, you know, do the fucking routine checkup and all that, you know. Um, I came here 10 years ago, roughly. Summertime was beautiful, you know, America, big buildings, you know, shiny street, nice cars, you know, white girls looking skinny and sexy. Ooh, oh my god, wearing almost nothing. It was summertime, I had a sweater because I was fucking freezing. <laughs> They have those little tiny fucking shirts that says juicy on the ass. Or, I love New York. I'm like, yeah, I love New York too. <laughs> then, around Times Square, I saw a sign on the building, a huge sign that says, uh, it said, uh, Sex in the City, tonight at 8 o'clock. <laughs> I was like, that's what's up. That's what I'm talking about. I know I was gonna fucking love this country for the first time. <laughs> I wanted to take the train and just, you know, or cab and go to HBO and get some. It turned out that was a, a bad idea, you know. But um, I got me a nice, you know, iMac, 27 inches iMac. It's like roughly, you know, the size of the movie theaters in my country. <laughs> you know, but every time I sat on it to use it, there's a fucking stupid message that came. Uh, do you want to bang girls in your neighborhood? <laughs> Now I live in South Bronx, you know, very bad area. I look through the window, there's like, you know, Nayamsha and Shinipo having a fist, fist fight. I'm like, no, I don't want to bang this in my neighborhood. <laughs> so, whoever wrote this message, I'm sure you live somewhere nice and beautiful. Help me bang girls in your neighborhood. <laughs> Not in my... <laughs> you know? Um, yeah, it's, it's very tough though. I was never lucky with a girl. I went on a blind date one time. It was really blind because she did not show up. <laughs> <laughs> you know? Um, then, you know, people told me, oh, if you want a good girl, do not go to the uh, club. You gotta go to church. You know, good girls go to church. I went to church and then I realized that the pastor has an MBA <laughs> from NYU. Mr. Pastor knows about the tax code more than he knows about the Bible. I'm like, nah, fuck that. 
<laughs> the guy tried to convince me to, to make a donation. He said, I'll get a tax deduction. I'm like, nah. <laughs> Thank you, I quit. Um, very nice man. People always come ask me, uh, Sule, why did you come to America? They think I came here like I'm hard work, I came here to work hard. No. <laughs> I came here because I'm fucking lazy. <laughs> think I want to sit in Africa, work hard, and, you know, earn nothing? No. I want to sit here in my apartment, in my Bronx apartment, watch Netflix. <laughs> I can order food for delivery. <laughs> and, you know, give a guy a dollar and feel very nice and special. <laughs> Motor. That's why I came to America, you know? Um, anyway, since I don't see a red light, oh, I do see a red light. <laughs> um, this is it, actually. The uh, red light is on, so I wonder why. But, uh, you know, it makes me feel like I'm driving or something, but I'm not. <laughs> so, I want to say thank you. Uh, I hope you enjoyed my little uh, show, and if you haven't, I say I'll go for stuff. <laughs>